Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, this is the heart space. Either yours or theirs. Somebody's heart space is here right now. Let's check on it, right? What is in the heart space? Don't forget to flip these energies. If it's not yours, it's probably your person's heart space. What's going on? But usually... We start with you, but you have to decide when to flip. Holy Spirit, for the collective, what's going on in your heart space? It's blossoming, it's blossoming your heart space. Somebody's heart space is getting bigger and bigger, and it's getting warmer and warmer, and it's glowing, right? Yeah, somebody's heart space is glowing. It's on the move. Somebody's in a good space with their heart, right? Their heart, their heart is swelling. It's filling with love. Holy Spirit. Ooh, yep. So it's it, it's building because somebody's about to reach out. Either you're gonna reach out to somebody, or somebody's planning on reaching out to you. They're they're building it up in their heart. It's like they started swelling it and swelling it, and then they're gonna make their move, right? Look at this. They're gonna make their moves. They work in that heart. They're gonna reach out to you. You're definitely on their mind. They believe they can succeed. Somebody's coming to you. They're swimming away to calmer waters, guys. You're definitely in their heart space or you're in theirs, right? Someone's about to reach out to you. A ring a ring a ling. Maybe your phone bell will ring. Maybe your phone will ring today, right? Maybe it'll ring today. Maybe it'll ring after you watch this reading. So somebody, they're building up their heart space for you and they're somebody's planning on reaching out. They believe the only way it's going to work is they have to believe to succeed and they just have to come to you, get to you, reach out, talk to you, something, right? Sometimes I think a lot of people sit and don't know what's going on. And then years pass, months pass, because you're both sitting on opposite ends wondering what the other person is doing. When it really just takes a phone call, a text, an email or something. We'll be like, what? You know, like, well, what are we doing? Unless you're just not ready. This person is coming in as the Knight of Cups. The Knight. They are ready. They are ready. They're ending something, guys. There's... They ended something and they're not going back to it. There's no new beginnings from whatever they're leaving. There's no new beginnings there. there. There's no chance. They are coming in offering love, guys. As the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. They're coming in. This is a brand new love offer. Brand new love offer. And nothing is going to hold this person back. Nothing is going to hold them back. They ended something. So somebody ended something so they can move forward, so they can offer this love to someone else. Could be a new love offer. Maybe someone you know, but maybe you don't know that they love you like that, but somebody love you like that and they got to reach out. This person is already actively in their chariot. They're walking away from something. Whatever this Ace of Wands is in reverse, they can't fix that. They're not trying to fix that. Nothing else can be done there. The Ace of Wands is in reverse. Like, there's no new beginnings. They're walking away. They feel like nothing else can be done in this situation, right? They are emotionally unfulfilled. They're abandoning a path. They're walking away. This is a high priest. This could be a male energy because we have a high priestess and we have a high priest. So this person is following their intuition. They are. They probably want more of a higher level of commitment with you guys. I'm talking louder because of my heater. Um, but they're coming in as the high priest and they're going to this queen of pentacles. Someone who is already abundant. You two could may have your own business. You may be married as well. I don't know. 
you may be married because you are a queen of pentacles uh you may be married or just very abundant so somebody's gonna reach out to you and they're gonna work really really hard until they get what they want yeah they're gonna put in work guys if this person can come back in and get a chance to talk to you um they will let's do some love jones let's see how this person is feeling about you but somebody wants you back they believe they can't succeed somebody's gonna reach out to you oh we're gonna go with it it says you are my beginning and my end looking forward to many sunrises and sunsets together so they're already manifesting you because looking forward to many sunrises, there's like, come on, that's going to happen because I'm going to manifest it. I like the way this person thinks. It says, you are my best friend. We saved the best for last. I'll be damned. Baby. That's all I'm taking. And those fell out. And they all make sense. And they all connect. Somebody's coming back. They're going to reach out. They, they're in love. And they're going to put in the work. Let's see, what does the future look like with this person, right? Y'all know me and my cards. This is the Sex in the City Oracle, guys. I always say this is the future, what it could look like if you ever couple up with the person, like the love of your life. This is what it would look like, right? That's in this deck. Holy Spirit. I say get this deck, guys, and hope for the best, right? Be like, uh-uh. Because everything in this deck is pretty lovely for the most part. Holy Spirit, what does the future look like? Um, oh my God, y'all not ready. New beginnings, new love, new life. New beginnings, new love, and a new life. Holy Spirit, what does the future look like? The futures look like, I'm just going to take all the ones that fell right here. I'm going to sit this deck right here so y'all can see I'm not cheating. It says, dreams coming true. You may get married in a Disney castle. Maybe you've been to Disney with this person. Ooh, right? Maybe y'all been to Disney together. Maybe you're going to get married in the castle. I don't know. You do know you can rent that out. Yes. Everything is rentable. <laughs> uh, let me see. What else? Uh, this person feels that you are the yin to their yang. This is completeness to them. This You complete this person. That is how they feel. It says, I love you. And then the last card here that came out was thank you for changing my life. Somebody is coming back for that thing. Are you them? You are the beginning and my end. Period. Amen. They feel you are my best friend. They feel we saved the best for last. Somebody is working it up in their heart, guys, to reach out to you. Because they believe that if they reach out to you, you two will succeed together. You will succeed. If they reach out, you can succeed. You change them. All right, guys. This is a good reading. I like it. I like it. I like, I like it like that. Let me give you a soulmate love card, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Just one love message. Just one spirit. Just one. I haven't used these cards in a minute, so I'm, I'm, I'm loving them again, right? Soulmate love messages. Just one. Can we talk? Can we talk? They want to talk to you. One more spirit. Let me know. Have you started to lose your love for me? Mm. All right, guys. Sounds good to me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace, peace.